just, if you can't see the reading right away, just keep flipping the page until you find the first reading, okay? There it is, it's right there. And then you just say this part, read the reading, yep. and then go down to the middle.
good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, the Mother Church of the Diocese of Lansing. Today, through the laying on of hands and the anointing with chrism, Bishop Boyer will confer the Sacrament of Confirmation on 104 candidates from five parishes. We rejoice that the Holy Spirit continues to pour out his gifts on our young people and on the Diocese of Lansing. We congratulate all of them and thank everyone, especially their parents, who have brought them to this day. And now a few announcements pertinent to the celebration. Restrooms are located at the exits here, here, and then down in the basement in the crypt. You are warmly encouraged to join in song during the hymns and responses at today's Mass. For the distribution of Holy Communion, please approach by way of the center aisle and return by way of the side aisles. Please follow the directions of the ministers of hospitality for reception of the Eucharist. There will, be, there will be ministers of the body of Christ at the top of the aisle and in front of the first pew. Please keep moving to the next available minister. There will also be a minister back uh, by the baptismal font, and then we'll have one over in the chapel area over here. In order to preserve the dignity of the liturgy, please refrain from any photography during the celebration. Photos will be taken after today's Mass. Please take this time to turn off cell phones and pagers. You're cordially invited to a light reception in the parish center after Mass. It's located to the southwest of the cathedral in the newer building with the green trim. If you are encouraged to participate fully in the liturgy using the booklet which you received upon your arrival, which includes the text and music for the hymns. We will begin in a moment. You may now wish to locate the opening hymn. Please rise. with the Lord, Father and 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. We will begin today's celebration with the renewal of our baptism with the sprinkling of holy water. Since we are using the water that was blessed at the Easter vigil, there is no need to say a prayer of blessing right now. I saw water flowing from the temple, from its right hand side, alleluia. And all to whom this water came were saved and shall save, alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let Israel now say that he is good, that his mercy endures forever. I saw water flowing from the temple, from its right hand side, alleluia. And all to whom this water came were saved and shall say, alleluia. Almighty God, cleanse us of our sins, and through the celebration of this Eucharist, make us worthy to share at the table of his kingdom. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth Peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy Christ. 
Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May your people exult forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that, rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Jesus showed the apostles that he was alive by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O oh Lord, you have lifted up my soul from the grave, restored me to life from those who sink into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued. Sing psalms to the Lord, you faithful ones. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts a moment, his favor all through life. At night come tears, but dawn brings joy. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me. Be my helper, O Lord. You have changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, I will thank you forever. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me.
A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and heard the voices of many angels who surrounded the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They were countless in numbers and they cried out in a loud voice. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea, everything in the universe cry out to the one who sits on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor glory and might forever and ever. The four living creatures answered, Amen, and the elders fell down and worshipped. The word of the Lord. Christ is risen, creator of all. He has shown pity on all people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana and Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, we also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, no. So he said to them, cast the net over the right side of the boat and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment for he was lightly clad and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them. And in the like manner, the fish this was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, 
son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, tend my sheep. Jesus said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that Jesus had said to him a third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Go ahead, boys. Would the candidates of St. Anthony of Padua from Hillsdale please stand? Bishop, I present to you the candidates from St. Anthony of Padua in Hillsdale. Thank you, Deacon Aaron. Bishop, I present to you the candidates from Cristo Rey Church. Will they please stand? They, could they please stand first? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Father Vincent. Candidates from the Catholic community of Saints James, Cornelius, and Cyprian, please stand. <clears throat> Bishop Boyer, I present to you our candidates from the Catholic community of Saints James, Cornelius, and Cyprian. Thank you, Father Cousy. Candidates from St. Mary's Manchester, please stand. Bishop, I present the candidates from St. Mary's Church in Manchester. Thank you, Father Bosco. Candidates from Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish, please stand. <clears throat> Bishop Boy, I present to you the candidates from Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish. Thank you, Father John. I know if all of you know this, but Father John, Father John Byers will be in senior priest status starting this summer. So this is his last presentation of candidates for the Sacrament of Confirmation. So now I'm going to ask you, Father John, are all these candidates well prepared and are they ready to receive the Sacrament of Confirmation this evening? After consulting with my brother priests, I can say that they are all prepared to receive the Sacrament of Confirmation. Thank by you, participating in the sacramental life of the church, by meditating on the word of God, by attending religion classes, by participating in a retreat and other activities, and by demonstrating Christian service. They have found strength in God's grace and support in our community's prayer and example. Now they ask to be confirmed, and after consultation with their teachers and parents, we testify that all are ready. Thank you, Father Byers. Will the sponsors please stand? My dear sponsors, the Christian life and the demands that flow from the sacraments are never to be taken lightly. Therefore, before granting these candidates their request to be confirmed, it's necessary that the church hears your testimony. So I ask you, sponsors, are these candidates ready to be confirmed today? Yeah. And my brothers and sisters in this Christian assembly, should these, our brothers and sisters, be confirmed today? My dear candidates, your pastors, 
Your sponsors, your family members, your fellow parishioners have now all testified on your behalf. So I ask you candidates, are you ready now to receive the sacrament of confirmation? Oh my goodness. <laughs> are you ready now to receive the sacrament of confirmation? Have a seat, please. Ah, they're all so shy. Before beginning the homily, a few words of thanks. I am certainly very grateful to the cathedral for hosting us today, our, our musician and uh, servers and lectors. Thanks so very much to all of you. I'm very grateful as well to the diocesan staff who have prepared this, this, our celebration and uh, prepared the booklets for you. Grateful to all of them. Certainly, I'm very grateful to all, our, my brother deacon and my brother priests who are present today. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Many thanks and congratulations to the catechists who have helped prepare these men and women for the sacrament today. It's nice to be able to reach kind of an end of something, so I'm very sure that you are really grateful about this. Many thanks as well to the sponsors. Sponsors, you are to here today not just for a ceremony. You are here making a commitment to these men and women for the rest of your lives, a commitment to pray for them, a commitment to be a good example to them, a commitment perhaps to offer a word of advice every now and then, especially when they think they don't need to hear it. That's when they most need to hear it, so don't be shy. Sponsors, you know that you are on a pilgrimage back to our Heavenly Father. So are they, but they have invited you to be part of their pilgrimage, so please take that seriously. And parents, thank you so very much for taking so seriously the education and the formation of your sons and daughters. Now the homily. Joseph, a Jew from the island of Cyprus in the eastern Mediterranean Sea, was living in Jerusalem, probably with his sister Mary and his nephew, John Mark. He must have heard Peter preaching on the feast day of Pentecost because he soon came to believe that Jesus, the crucified one, was the long-awaited Messiah. This Joseph then sold some of his property and very generously gave the proceeds to the apostles for the care of the followers of Jesus. Perhaps that's why the apostles called him Barnabas, or son of encouragement. The Greek word for this encouragement is paraklesis. So Barnabas was a paraclete, an encourager. At the Last Supper, Jesus was aware how desolate his apostles would be the next day the day of his crucifixion and death. So Jesus, four times, promises to send them the paraclete. This term, paraclete, is often interpreted in a legal sense to mean that the Holy Spirit will be our lawyer. But this is too narrow of an understanding. Rather, this holy paraclete is someone who walks with us, and encourages us. Today, we celebrate your confirmation. In this sacrament, you will receive a fullness of the Holy Spirit. He will be your paraclete. Perhaps we can look at how Barnabas was a paraclete to the apostles, to his nephew, and even to St. Paul, to understand more clearly how the Holy Spirit is the paraclete for all of us. Let's start with Paul. Paul has changed 
from arresting and imprisoning followers of Jesus, even helping with the execution of Saint Stephen, to being now a follower of Jesus himself. After this change, which took place while he was on the way to Damascus in Syria in order to arrest more Christians, Paul then returned to Jerusalem a different man. Nonetheless, he scared all of the Jewish Christians in the city and caused a lot of turmoil because they didn't believe he had really changed. But Barnabas defended Paul and walked with him during his brief stay in the holy city. The Holy Spirit, the paraclete, never leaves us, is always with us, supporting us like Barnabas. Besides being generous in support of the apostles in Jerusalem, Barnabas, 10 years later, was then sent to get first-hand knowledge of the growing community of Jewish and Gentile Christians in Antioch. He was delighted with what he saw, and so he encouraged them. We are told, for he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. Seeing great needs for these new Christians, Barnabas then went next door to Tarsus, Paul's hometown, where Paul had been sidelined for these past 10 years. And he brought Paul to Antioch to use his great talents to build up the faithful. The Holy Spirit, the paraclete, will always encourage us. This paraclete will use our talents and gifts for the good of all even if we have been sitting all too long on the sidelines. Finally, Barnabas and Paul were sent by the church in Antioch on a great missionary journey to Cyprus, Barnabas' home, and then on to southern Turkey. Barnabas' nephew, John Mark, accompanied them, but for some reason he bailed on them when they landed in Turkey. So. Paul did not like this abandonment at all. And when they were later ready to revisit the churches that they had established in Turkey, Barnabas wanted to give his nephew a second chance. But Paul said no, so they split up, Barnabas taking John Mark back to his home of Cyprus. The Holy Spirit, the paraclete, is faithful to us even when we fail, just as Barnabas was for his nephew. Jesus promised a real paraclete as companion, as encourager, as supporter, as second chancer to each one of us. We have received this Holy Spirit in baptism and again here today in confirmation. That Holy Spirit, that paraclete, wants to take hold of each of us and support us in our faith, wants to use our gifts and talents to build up the faith of others, and wants to accompany us even when we fail, always giving us another shot. My sisters and brothers, who will be anointed with the holy chrism today, God our Father, Jesus, his only Son, and the Holy Spirit want you to know you are not alone, but the paraclete, will not force himself upon us. Open yourselves fully to the gift you receive today, and you will know of the greatest companion you could ever have. The Spirit will be with you as a holy paraclete. God bless you all. There are three parts to the confirmation ceremony. The first part is the renewal of baptismal promises, which I presume were made by your moms and dads when you were babies. You will be asked to make these promises by responding with a nice strong, I do, to each one of the questions that I will ask you. The second part of the ceremony is the imposition of hands. 
Now, obviously, I'm not going to impose hands on each one of you, but rather I will do it like this over all of you, and then I will invoke upon you the Holy Spirit. The third part of the ceremony is the actual anointing with oil. At that time, I will walk through the congregation, and I will ask that you face the aisle. Your sponsor will place his or her right hand on your right shoulder. I will, they'll give me your name, your confirmation name. I will say, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and you will say, amen. Then I will tap you on the cheek and say, peace be with you, and you will say, and with your spirit. So how about if we begin? Those to be confirmed, please stand. Remember, a nice strong I do to each of these questions. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Esta es nuestra fe. Esta es la fe de la Iglesia que nos gloriamos de profesar en Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amen. Will everyone please stand? Oremos, hermanos, a Dios Padre Todopoderoso, por estos hijos suyos que renacieron ya la vida eterna en el bautismo, para que envíe abundantemente sobre ellos el Espíritu Santo, a fin de que este mismo Espíritu los fortalezca con la abundancia de sus dones, los consagre con su unción espiritual y haga de ellos imagen fiel de Jesucristo. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God the Almighty Father for these his adopted sons and daughters already born again to eternal life in baptism that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts and through his anointing conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these, your servants, to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin, send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord, amen. Everyone may be seated except for the candidates and their sponsors.
Hector Posada Zavala, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Veronica, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Yes. Joaquin, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with the Spirit. San Jose Sanchez del Rio, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Gabriela, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Francis of Assisi, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Leandro, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Teresa del Nino y Jesus, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. With Juan Diego, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary Magdalene, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Jude, Jude, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Carlos, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Adriana, Adriana, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Ephraim, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Jose, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sophia of Rome, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Eligius, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bridget of Ireland, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Andrew, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Represent Dennis. Dennis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And Amen. peace be with you. <laughs> Francis of Assisi, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Michael. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Catherine of Siena, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. She's one of my favorites. Maximilian Colby, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Jane Francis de Chantal, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Lorenzo Ruiz, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Gabriel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. With you, Spirit. Maximilian Colby, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. 
Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Martin de Porres, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Maximilian Colby, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. St. Eustace of Madrid, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Francis of Assisi, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Padre Pio? Padre Pio, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Rogelio, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Marlene, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Isabella, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Angelina? Angelina, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Gabriel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. <laughs> Teresa of Calcutta, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Alma, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Yasmin, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bishop, I present to you St. Michael the Archangel. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Yo represento a Leon. Le Leon, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Jose Sanchez del Rio, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Mariela, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Oops. Luke, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Ezekiel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. John Paul II, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mother Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Juan Diego, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Jude, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Francis of Assisi, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Gemma Galgani, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Jose Maria Escriva, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Bishop, I present Pius XII. 
Pius XII, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bishop, I present James the Lesser. James the Lesser, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Agnes of Rome, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Perpetua, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bishop, I present Elizabeth of Hungary. Elizabeth of Hungary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bishop, I present Josephine Baquita. Josephine Baquita, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bishop, I present Saint Dimphna. Dimphna, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bishop, I present Padre Pio. Padre Pio, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joan of Arc, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Catherine of Bologna, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Raphael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bernard of Montjou, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Adam, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Blaze, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Hubert, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Saint Clara. Clara of, of Assisi, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary, Mother of God, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Maria Goretti, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Saint Elizabeth. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Joseph. Joseph be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you and with your spirit. Lucy, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Patrick, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Lewis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Luke, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Anthony, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joan of Arc, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Francis Xavier, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Luke, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Christopher, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. 
Bishop Boy, I present St. John Paul II. John Paul II, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Bishop, I present you St. Cecilia. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Catherine of Alexandria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bishop, I present Edmund Campion. Edmund Campion, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bishop, I present to you Pier Giorgio. Pier Giorgio Frassati, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Catherine of Siena, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Chiara Luce Barano, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Maria Goretti, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary Magdalene, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bishop, I present to you Therese of Lisieux. Therese of Lisieux, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Your Excellency, I present to you Francis de Sales. Francis de Sales, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to God the Almighty Father and be of one mind in our prayer, just as faith, hope, and charity which proceed from his Holy Spirit are one. For these sons and daughters of God, confirmed by the gift of the Spirit, that they may give witness to Christ by lives built on faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For their parents and godparents who led them in faith, that by word and example, they may always encourage them to follow the way of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord who gathers us together in the Holy Spirit may help us to grow in unity of faith and love until his Son returns in glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people of every race and nation, that they may acknowledge the one God as Father, seek his kingdom, which is peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles and willed that through them and their successors the same Spirit be handed on to the rest of the faithful, listen favorably to our prayer and grant that your divine grace, which was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, may now spread through the hearts of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand for the praise and glory of his name. For our good to all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Amen. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Earl, our Bishop, Carl, our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember also, Lord, your servants whom you have been pleased to confirm today by bestowing the Holy Spirit and keep them in your grace. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Martyrs, and Saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. 
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ, the blood of Christ. Please join in the singing of the communion antiphon, you know, O Lord, that I love you. Alleluia. The body of Christ. the Lord at all times. The praise of him is always in my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. You know, Lord, that I love you. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. You know, Lord, that I love you. Look toward him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This lowly one called the Lord heard and rescued him from all his distress. You know, Lord, that I love you. of the Lord is encamped around those who fear him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. You know, Lord, that I love you. The Lord turns his eyes to the just 
and his ears are open to their cry. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. You know, Lord, that I love you. When the just cry out, the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. You know, Lord, that I love you. Evil brings death to the wicked. Those who hate the just man are doomed. The Lord ransoms the souls of his servants. All who trust in him shall not be condemned. You know, Lord, that I love you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. You know, Lord, that I love you. joins us together, let us rejoice in him, and in our love and care for all, now love God in return. Ubi caritas est vera, est vera. Deus ibiest, Deus ibiest. In true communion let us gather, may all division cease, and in their place be Christ the Lord, our risen Prince of Peace. Ubi caritas est vera, est vera, Deus ibiest, Deus ibiest. May we who gather at this table to share the bread of life Become a sacrament of love, your healing touch, O Christ. Ubi caritas est vera, 
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. A little bit of a direction regarding the pictures. We're going to do group pictures, so the appropriate priest, we want to make sure you're with your group when we call them up. This is the way we're going to do it, so be it after the final song, not before. We're going to start with St. Mary Manchester. They're the smallest group. So you'll be the, the newly confirmed will come on up and Father Bosco and I will stand with you for the picture. The second group is going to be, let's see, it will be Immaculate Heart of Mary. So Father John, you'll be with us for that second picture. Then the third picture is going to be the ladies from James, Cornelius, and Cyprian. Then we'll do the gentlemen from James, Cornelius, and Cyprian. Cyprian. Then we're going to do the ladies from Cristo Rey. Then we'll do the gentlemen from Cristo Rey. Last but not least, St. Anthony of Padua will do the ladies first and then the gentlemen. Okay? So at the end of Mass, the song's done, probably be easiest to sit down, and then parents can get in the middle as we in the middle aisle to take a picture as we get ready to, to line them up, okay? And I'm not going to remember what I just said. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with you. Bow down for the blessing. Confirm, O God, what you have brought about in us, and preserve in the hearts of your faithful the gifts of the Holy Spirit. May they never be ashamed to confess Christ crucified before the world, and by devoted charity may they ever fulfill his commands, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
cherubim and seraphim in unceasing chorus praising 